AFCM Africa is the regional arm of AFCM International USA, in line with its vision of reaching the nation through the gospel of Jesus Christ. AFCM Africa endeavors to reach the nations of Africa with the word of faith. AFCM Africa provides a vehicle for unity, fellowship, and encouragement among its members. All too often, many ministers are lonely, lack accountability groups and support, and often burn out thinking they have to carry the ministry load themselves. But through association, we can stand together and encourage each other, giving of ourselves, our time, and our substance when our brother needs it most. This is the power of the body working together. I'm Ellen Allison. I come from Northern Ireland, uh, Belfast, and I'm the founder and director of Kenya Sumbi Ministries, which is based in Teso district of Western Kenya. We have a children's home of 39 children, a school of 70 children, and we have a prayer center and a church and uh, reaching out into the community here in Teso. I am a graduate of AFCM ITC, and I also host the school here and in another location. This is growing and it has had a big impact in this Teso region. Many of the pastors were unlearned in the Word of God and have just grasped this opportunity to learn the Word of God and to reach it out into their churches and into their communities. AFCM trains and equips believers and ministers through the AFCM International Training Center, AFCM ITC. The success of the ministry in Africa has mainly been through the AFCM ITC. In Kenya, the training center continues to equip ministers and believers both in churches and the marketplace by providing knowledge, sound doctrine, and the necessary ministerial skills to enable them to carry out ministry effectively. My name is uh, Pastor Robert Mukarani. I pastor a church here in Kitale, Kenya. I work uh, with uh, Reverend Sarah Gibson, and um, I joined AFCM in 2006. Uh, after I completed AFCM, a lot has, has happened in my life and in my ministry. Uh, the Lord has indeed blessed me through my brothers and sisters, they have helped me a lot and through them I have been able to reach uh, the unreached and many lives have been transformed. My name is Herodias Gerono. I am a police officer by profession at the rank of sergeant. I thank God for this Bible course that I have undergone. Well, th uh, through this course, it has really helped me to reach other officers by the word of God. What I can say is that may God bless the AFCM ministries. God bless you. Amen. I'm Irene Oneko, a graduate with the AFCM. I'm a deputy principal, St. Anne's Nyangogi Girls. Uh, I, I benefited a lot from the training I got from AFCM. One, it trained me to be quite an action person. I was able to know that when situations come your way, you confront them with the word. That has pushed me several, several ways above what I could have been able to do on my own. AFCM has helped me to be a better parent. I'm able to guide my children using the word. AFCM has helped me to be a better administrator, being able to influence other uh, people's children to be able to achieve their careers. Thank you, thank you, AFCM. Praise the Lord. My name is Anno Mambia. I'm a deputy principal of Nyancho Girls High School. 
I joined the FCM and I did one course, graduated, and we are I'm on the second one. FCM has developed my life, my career, and my faith. I am able to assist the girls that I work with spiritually. Also, from the knowledge of FCM, we minister in schools at least uh, three years a time. We are in a, with other teachers, we are given schools and we preach to students and colleges. So I praise the Lord and I'm grateful. Thank you. This vital tool has enabled many ministers and churches to raise up people in support ministries, which in turn enhances their visions. The greatest impact has been within the four walls of confinement in the Kenyan Correctional Facilities. Kenya has over 50,000 inmates in over 100 prisons across the nation, all of whom need to be reached with the gospel and yet they are almost a forgotten group. As the chaplain of the Nyanza region, having 14 prisons, uh, we have benefited through FCM in training our chaplains, uh, inmates, together with the staff. The prison is a large community which is impossible to effectively reach from the outside. In addressing this issue, AFCM ITC has become a useful means for raising ministers from amongst inmates and prison officers. They in turn can reach their own without boundaries or limitations. My name is Wilson Kibiakon Tanui, Chief Inspector of Prisons, the persons in charge of education and training in Kisumu Main Prison. So this facility holds up to around 2,300 prisoners with around 400 officers who are serving them in different uh, various sections. The prisoners we have here have various sentences ranging from death row, life sentences, long-term sentences, short-term sentences, and even remand prisoners. It's important to say that we have various rehabilitation programs that we take them through, ranging from formal and informal education programs, vocational training programs, and point in case is a spiritual nourishment program that we have in partnership with AFCM and Disciples of Mercy. This program has been very much beneficial to us as a prison institution, not only to prisoners but also to officers. We would wish to recognize that there has been a lot of impact and it has been a life changer program. It is of importance to also note that we wish that we keep the partnership stronger so that we can improve service delivery to these people. We wish to say thank you, welcome all the time, we're ready for partnership to improve lives of the less privileged persons. Prisoners have a lot of time within custody that can be productively used for Bible study and for training. Once they leave the prison, the pressures of life will take priority and they may never have the same opportunity. It is for this reason that AFCM Africa has seized the open door of opportunity to establish AFCM ITC in our prisons with currently up to 40 facilities being potential training grounds. Well, I'm Reverend David Agwanda, and she is Vivian Sigay. We work in Kisi, Kisi Prison as chaplains. We host the AFCM Bible School, who has been an instrument to help us rehabilitate inmates and uh, staff. We thank you so much, AFCM, for the input that you've given to this. Through this training, prisoners and officers are led to the Lord and they are discipled through graduates within prison and by the chaplaincy services. I'm Chief Inspector Lucy Jangara, 
and I'm speaking on behalf of the officer in charge of Kisumu Women Prison, Chief Inspector Nere Asule. Currently, I'm acting as the officer in charge of this station, which hosts on average 150 women, some of them convicted, some are not convicted. And so, on behalf of the officer in charge, we are very grateful for the AFC Eng Bible School, for the training, and for the support, both financial and moral, that they have offered our inmates. And we are praying and trusting God that they are going to, that God is going to help them, and to encourage them more towards assisting our prisoners. We are very grateful once again. I'm Nancy Dula. I'm the chaplain at uh, Kisumu Women Prison. We do host the FCM uh, Training Center. This program has helped uh, many inmates and uh, staff within the prison who have uh, in turn gone out to work in the community and even work in the churches as uh, spiritual uh, pastors. We want to thank God for this program and uh, we want to believe that as we continue with this program, it will be well with us. The graduates within the prisons perform duties supporting the chaplains, which may include evangelism, discipleship, pastoral care and support ministry such as music, ushering, youth leaders, and Bible study group leadership. I'm Justus. After graduating from the Bible school, I'm now happy, happy to be serving God as a senior pastor in Kodiaga Main Prison, offering pastoral care to around 2,200 inmates. God bless you all. I'm Charity Mwivi. I'm an inmate in Kisum Women Prison. Since I started uh, doing Bible study in this prison, it has helped me in many, many ways. First and foremost, it has helped me to be connected with God, to build up my relationship with God. It is helping me to reform in prison because it is only the word of God which can help one to reform. I'm a graduate of AFCM International. Uh, through this project, I have been able to change my character uh, this project has helped me and is teaching me how to live in prison in a godly way. As an evangelistic tool within prison confines, we have been able to incorporate sporting events such as soccer and volleyball. These help to reach out to the unsaved and bring them into the kingdom. Officers and chaplains without previous ministerial training have also been equipped and are now confidently taking a leadership role in ministry. I'm Reverend Lucas, the person apparently uh, in charge of chaplaincy at Kisumu Main Prison, where this, uh, the course has been carried out to the inmates, members of the chaplaincy personnel, as well as some staff members. And it has really benefited, uh, we have really benefited from this particular course in that uh, people are now, we, uh, we have quite a good number who are equi equipped uh, in the ministry work. Uh, another thing is that uh, we have a lot of enrollment, meaning that the, the course has been so, it has been well received by the inmates and some of the members of this particular institution. I'm Sakari Tengecha, one of the pastors in this institution. Uh, this uh, FCM program uh, has been uh, beneficial to me. It has equipped me in a spiritual uh, section that now I can serve the officers and inmates in this institution, Kisumu Main Prison. Uh, I thank uh, you all, a good pleasure. Of the hundreds of prisoners that have graduated, Many have since been released and are now in ministry, either full-time or in employed in the marketplace. My name is Protas Kaita. I'm a graduate of AFCM ITC. I, after graduating and coming out of prison, I served under Disciples of Mercy doing pastoral care 
and I moved to Kenya Sunbeam Ministry last year uh, under the same actually ministry. I'm doing pastoral care and other duties that are here. So far the teachings helped me and I'm implementing and at the same time teaching those that are under me the same teachings and they, they are receptive and I, right now I'm doing the second year which actually is causing a great impact. I see it is of a great benefit in that it is changing the lives and uh, around and even my own family has received a great benefit out of it. I'm just a Satota. I am a graduate from AFCM International. I graduated from Kodia Main Prison in the year 2009. I work, right now I work at Kiss University as an administrator. I got a, this job because I used the certificate that I got from AFCM. And right now I'm so proud of the AFCM. FCM has really touched my life because right now um, I am a born again Christian and I also know how to cope with people that I work with. Thank you. Our continued commitment to the rehabilitation process has enabled us to play an important role in the reintegration of prisoners back into society upon their release. We even envision a halfway house that would provide a base for transition to those in need of extra support to resettle back in society. My name is Nicholas Omumu, and this is my wife Mary. Upon my release from Kodiaga prison, I managed to bring up a ministry which is still existing up to now. I oversee six churches and uh, the training I got highly equipped me for the ministry, and the ministry is doing very well. Thank you. The harvest truly is plentiful, but the labourers are few. With your support, more workers can be trained and equipped to go into the restricted access mission field. Our mission is to continue to reach beyond borders, to pull down strongholds and remove burdens, destroy yokes, and truly set the captive free.